Okay, guys, I'm back again. I want to show you this great book that I just recently got here. I, and there's two books. Uh, it's called The Artist's uh, Facial Expressions um, by Gary Fahin. I think his last name is Fagin or Fa Fahin. I'm not really sure. Then I got this one also, um, Facial Expressions by Mark Simon. Okay. So first, I want to show you this book. Um, unfortunately, my phone has been acting pretty stupid on me. And um, it's like the data is not working or it's like, I don't know, <laughs> the filming stops. So I want to show you this one, which is really good. And I did a video on Instagram. If you want to see it more better, um, you can see it on Instagram. I also plan to show off this book. Share it, not show off. I think that sounds bad. Show off, I would say share it in um, on Facebook. Um, anyway, I think it would be show off. You show off the book, but no, nah, I, I think sharing would sounds much better. It sounds more, I don't know, more cleaner, more better. But anyway, so it's a very good book. It's about um, expression. So I'm going to go a little faster and show you. Um, pretty much each page what's all about this book it's a very good book um, it's going to show you old classic artwork and rough sketches done in ink and it's going to show you pictures of people real people and realism so it's basically all about expression this is pretty much a very uh I wouldn't say an easy technique, but let's see today. Um, I'm off today, so um, hopefully I'll show you some good techniques on how to draw faces and heads using all these techniques. So yeah, it's a pretty good book. Some pages I'm not going to show you because it's got just um, basically almost the same thing. So I'm not going to read anything. I'm just going to show you pretty much what the book provides because unfortunately it has to do with data and the storage in my phone um, I will show you this this is pretty interesting pretty much how the jaw is on a three-quarter view and on a profile and also on a front view which is pretty interesting and yeah it's all about expressions the skeletal part So yeah, it's a very, very good book to have when it comes to expression. Here's the nose again. The lips. So I'm going to go a little faster so that way I can show you the other book later on. And this is more like looking up. There's a good technique I want to share with you guys. Um, there was a guy that asked me if there's a way that I can show them how to draw, you know, face looking up. Now remember, I'm not a, uh, a professional, you know, but I can show you pretty much the, of the knowledge that I've, of all the stuff that I've been studying, yeah. The only problem I have here is that they should have used the cross method to do the lips. It would have been more better. So you can see pretty much the center of the lip better. But I guess that's the way they did it. So yeah, it's all about expressions. They got some stuff here, you know, like Mike, Michelangelo, Da Vinci stuff. And I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe this week I might consider doing Da Vinci um, show you some of his um, his artwork and some of the books that I have by Da Vinci. It's going to show you everything. Basically, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the ears. And uh, it's also going to show you a lot, a lot of expressions. So if you ever get this book, you have to be ready for it because it's going to it's going to surprise you with a lot of stuff, the frowning, 
you know, on top of the head, especially on a, on a profile. The muscles on top of the head, basically the face is made out of muscle. So yeah, it's going to show you how the eyes actually interact with each other, the symmetry of the eyes. Okay, so yeah, it's a lot of a lot of interesting stuff in this book. This was more like from the nineteen twenties, the way they, you know, the the way they used to draw the eyes. Oh, excuse me. I just finished. I just woke up right now, guys. Um, so if you see me a little bit tired or I sound too tired, some. So yeah, I just woke up. I might go for an orange. Give me some energy. And then here's the eye. How to draw the eye. So yeah, it's got a lot of interesting things here. The lips. The lips again. The lips again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the uh, phone company and tell them, see what they can do to make my videos last longer because I just got a memory uh, a chip card, a memory card, and um, I don't know what's going on. The videos stop. And the funny thing is it continues again to record. That doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, there's something very wrong with my phone. And I never had this problem with the other phone that I had. And I used to make longer videos in my other phone. So something's wrong and I got to check it out. So hopefully I'll be able to do longer videos. The only thing is it's going to take a day for me to download it. Or two days. If it depends how long the video is. That's why I, you know, I rather have you guys find me better on Instagram. I don't have this problem on Instagram because um, I can actually do longer videos on Instagram. Well, not too long, but you know enough to show you pretty much what I'm trying to do. So yeah, here's the opening of the mouth, which is important, the center of the mouth. This is more like a, sort of like a, an expression. A lot of people get, they do that expression sometimes. Ah, get out of here. You know, it's like, like, like um, yeah. Yeah, there's all kinds of expressions. Um, smiling expression. So basically everything here is all about expression in the mouth, the face, everything. a very good book when I saw it when I you know when I started when I first saw it I said wow this is awesome I could learn a lot from expressions because I definitely need to practice oh excuse me doing expressions definitely so yeah here's a here's like four faces here and what's really cool about the book is that if you're doing a character, you can use this book um, and draw your your faces. Um, so here's a normal face, uh, a little bit of a sadness, but then here's more sadness, 
more like more expression. Here's a three quarter view. This is more like a anger, uh, a smile and sadness. So yeah, it's gonna give you a lot of uh, ideas here, some real photos of people with expression. Here's a little girl, sad. Also, everything has to do with the muzzle of the mouth also. The oval technique that Lo Loomis actually shows us in his book. That's the oval technique. Sadness examples uh, from art. That's a nice uh, three quarter view. That's like a statue, I think. So yeah, it's got a lot of interesting faces here and expressions. Look at this one. This is a, I think this is called like an expression that has to do with sneering, sneering the muscle, the muscle and action of the lip depressor. This was from the movie, The Titans, I think. The Clash of the Titans, I think. This is a, a mask from the Chinese some type of design. So yeah, it's practically expressions everywhere. So that's part of it. People want to see uh, expressions also in cartoons. This is really nice right here. This is a, a little girl with anger. Here's a profile with expression. So I'm gonna go a little faster. I just don't want this video to stop. Unfortunately, it stops pretty quick. Even Gothic statues has got expressions also. You know, those uh, cathedral gothic statues. Everything pretty much has expression. Some pages I'm going to skip because it's just all writings. This is Plato. I think this is Plato. I'm not really sure. So it's got a lot of interesting pictures. And I love books with pictures. And also step-by-step -step process, which you definitely need. Of course, this book is not going to show you a step-by-step -step process, but it's, it's sort of like a book that you can use for reference. You know what I mean? If you're already advanced and you know how to draw faces, then this is a book that's good for reference if you want to draw, you know, reference or somebody screaming or yelling or happy or mad, whatever. Whatever springs to mind. And I gotta admit, this artist is, um, he's really good when it comes to doing expressions. Also, when you're smiling or angry, your eyes seem to change, including the pupil. Um, everything changes. 
the squint of your eyes, everything changes. You see this woman smiling, laughing. Her eyes are sort of like, that's, that's the way it is, man. That's the way people express themselves. So you just can't draw an open laughing mouth without just squinting the eyes. You have to squint the eyes. You have to make the eyes sort of like close a, a bit. That it gives you a better understanding of expression and stuff. Very good profile. And that's Mona Lisa right there. Yeah, Mona Lisa, you're going to see her everywhere on Facebook, even including in Memes. Um, yeah. They have uh, abuse, uh, almost everybody abuse that poor woman, Mona Lisa, in so many ways. Yeah, she's popular on Facebook, on Instagram, social media. Mona Lisa, including in music. There was one song by, um, I think it was Sam Cooke. Uh, I forgot who it was. He made a song. I know somebody made a song called Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa. Yeah, even the mask, Chinese mask, they also have expressions. So I'm going to go a little faster because I'm afraid that the video might stop. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to have to wait for a while until this downloads. Here's a great drawing by Sargent. I know that Sargent. You can recognize his artwork. And Sargent is a very good artist. Um... So maybe I'll do a video on Sargent. Yeah, these, these are very um, great pictures and great expressions that you can use when you draw your characters. And say if you're having trouble drawing characters that that need expressions. So this is a very good book. I highly recommend that you definitely can use for expressions. That's about it, guys. Um, it's called um, The Artist Complete Guide to Facial Expression, and it's by Gary Fahin. And I'll do another video on this one, Facial Expressions, uh, a visual reference for artists by Mark Simon. Well, that's about it. And uh, if you want to see uh, tutorials, go to Instagram. Ciao.